NGO that asked us to rescue wild animals isn't ready to take them in yet. So we had no choice but to build an animal conservation platform. The NGO said they'll cover all expenses, including the day-to-day -day housing and feeding costs. If you're interested, take a chopper over and have a look. If you got time on your hands, come spend it back at the base. The men will miss you if you're gone too long. Trained and ready for action. The rest is up to you. Didi, go! <laughs> explain what D-Dog can do as your buddy. With that nose of his, he can sniff out and mark nearby enemies and prisoners. Should come in handy for infiltrating outposts. I trained him to detect mines and medicinal plants, too. When he locates something, check your map.
came here, she demonstrated her marksmanship against that enemy fighter plane. It showed she was much more than your everyday crack shot. Hitting a moving target from 600 meters is a challenge, but it's possible with the right training and equipment. But shooting down that missile, that's a world apart from taking out a soldier on patrol. The chopper and the missile were in motion, meaning different vectors at high velocity in three-dimensional space, and she shot an unguided bullet that had to fight air resistance and gravity. All that while the chopper was taking evasive maneuvers. Some of the best target leading I've ever known. She has a superhuman sense of spatial awareness. You put her in a fighter jet, and she'd be an ace right off the bat. Hell, your judgment was top class, too. Realizing she could take out that pilot? That's quick thinking. You and Quiet could make a hell of a team. You'd be damn near unstoppable. Quiet is still in her cell. Only a few staff are authorized to go near her. She hasn't tried anything funny, but that's what bothers me most. In particular, what does she have to gain by coming to Mother Base? I first thought she was under orders from Cypher to take you out. She didn't manage it in Afghanistan, so round two happens here. So I light the guard. And that lock on her door is a joke. You gave her an opening. And? Well, she hasn't killed you yet. And I hate to say it, but she's had plenty of chances. You made me the bait. When Quiet first came here, she demonstrated her marksmanship. Your judgment was top class, too. Realizing she could take out that pilot? That's quick thinking. You and Quiet could make a hell of a team. You'd be damn near unstoppable. Quiet is still in her cell. Only a few staff are authorized to go near her. She hasn't tried anything funny, but that's what bothers me most. In particular, what does she have to gain by coming to Mother Base? I first thought she was under orders from Cypher to take you out. She didn't manage it in Afghanistan, so round two happens here. So I lighten the guard. And that lock on her door is a joke. You gave her an opening. And? Well, she hasn't killed you yet. And I hate to say it, but she's had plenty of chances. You made me the bait. Poisonous bait. What better? Anyway, she didn't bite. Quiet is keeping her silence. So I'm left with no idea again what she's doing here. We tried communicating with her through writing. That didn't work either. Whether she's illiterate, dyslexic, or just plain stubborn, she won't cooperate. I just don't get it. If she tried to contact the outside, it'd be picked up by our counterintelligence net. But it's clean. There's no sign she's had contact with the staff, the base facilities, nothing. She's almost got the men wanting her to try something, just to find out what she's up to. And she's in there putting on the failed soldier look, all downcast eyes and defeated sighs. But she doesn't kill herself. She can't be trying to leave Cypher and surrender to us. <laughs> so what's the verdict? This may sound optimistic, but here's how I see it. Quiet came here to fulfill some objective. To kill you, maybe to destroy Diamond Dogs. Whatever it was, before she could do it, something changed her mind. Yes. Roger. Surveillance indicates turbulence out there. Try not to get knocked out of the sky. Got it. she thinks she's going. You want to head out with the boss. That'll be the day. I don't see a problem with it, so long as she's with you. She's a crack shot, damn fine scout. Well suited for a clandestine op. Which is more than I can say for the others. There's nothing damn fine about this thing. Wait a minute! 
it. That thing costs a lot of money. See each individual blade and a depth perception. One in. This is ridiculous. She doesn't talk. How could you possibly stay in communication? Right. I like working solo anyway. She can look for new targets with the other. 
That's why she doesn't need a spotter. She can operate alone, no matter the circumstances. See? I told you she's a freak. No one would be able to control her. No, there's one person who could. Hey, you trying to get the boss killed? Well, why don't we talk to him? Hmm? See if he's willing to take her along. I don't like this. It's his decision to make. The two of them might even make a good team. 